homebrew Wednesday, everyone. Hey, guys. <laughs> hey, hey, it's time to work on my SJ Pour beer. And uh, it's in here, baby. We're going to be adding some hops. But first, we've got to take a measurement. So, Christian, if you want to hop in that cabinet. Uh oh. He hasn't even seen this fun little toy yet. All right, ta-da. So it's time to take a little measurement, see where we're at. It's actually a Thursday. And uh, man, this temp thing, my whole two temp controllers has been working like a charm. And we're gonna check out and see where we're at. We could stand and go down a bit. It's at 1.018, but for whatever reason, man, uh, I don't seem to go down that low. But what I can do is I can raise the temp here and see if that'll activate those yeast to uh, eat a little bit Let more me check up. Check this out. Sure. Point towards the light. Huh. 1.018 pretty badass yeah so that's cool so I'm gonna raise the temp now that's been at that uh, basically at uh, 68 degrees consistently pretty much but we're gonna add some more hops in that baby old man strength right there and uh, I'm gonna get a fresh towel around it and we're going to raise it up to about 70, 71 degrees, 70, maybe as high as 72 for a little bit. And we're going to let this go for three days. And uh, we're going to pull her off and see what she's like. So I've set it to warm up to 71. So it's going to slowly warm up three degrees while keeping all my beer down below nice and cool. But... Uh, and see if that doesn't help pull it down a little bit in terms of eating a few more sugars. Meanwhile then, go ahead and check out some of the changes I've made to the fireplace since uh, last time around. Happy Ombre Wednesday, everyone. All right, boys, it's time to start finishing up the fireplace. We've got our cement board back here. Under here, we've got our granite, same stuff we've got in the kitchen. We had left over from years ago. Let's get her going. So I got my towel cutter here and I've, I've cut my first edges down here. But now it's time to mix up the mortar. Basically, we're using a flex bond right here. And this is a little bit high rent stuff. You can't get the pre-made stuff going around the fireplace. You could, but there's a lot of glue in those. And so you turn on your fireplace and you're gonna be smelling it. So you, you've gotta go with some good stuff. This has some polymer additives, you might say. So it's got a superior bonding capability, but it shouldn't give me any odors. of the tiles fall out so he's put 
putting them on with a little goo. Oh good. If I record this you'll hear how many times your phone goes off. Voila. Okay. The question is, where do I go next? <laughs> I might just start knocking these things out fast. I think. One, two, three, four. Let's do it. Yeah. Looking good. We're, we're getting there. It's all cutting now. The copper piece. And some of the stones, there are little copper pieces along the way. So I got to file those down. Man card earned once again. It's done. And everything's beautiful and clean except for me. <laughs> I'm a mess, but this is water from running the tile drill or tile saw. See how tired I am? But uh, I think it looks good. Maybe I'll show it to you like with more light on it at some point. But uh, yeah, I think I'm quite pleased. Who knows, maybe I'll put fossils in this one, maybe I won't, but for now, we're done. But at least that's up. And clear coat. And clear coat. There's a lot of things we gotta do. Fix the walls. But my, my work's done for today, night honey. Ah!